Hi guys, welcome on the channel. I would like to show you today news because I have got just the JK BMS version 19. So let me show you and we will look on the difference between the older versions and we make the comparisons physically. Okay, so we are here and you can see on the table it is opened two boxes. On the right side we have the version 150 amps and this one is the 200 version it is the new one and it is actually also with the new display and hardware version it is version 19 there are few modifications and few improvements uh, and we will just look on them if we start on the top with the balancing port there is actually nothing happening it is the same configuration everything just the same here you can see the difference there is the old port for the heating that was used to be done with this cable but it's not anymore and now it is done just with the screw so I think it is very easy now so you don't need such a cable and such a let me say not good connector I think they had problem with that that's why they change it another improvement is at least they have a little bit bi bigger screws better screws because those it's not hex you just need a screwdriver and i don't like them anyway i am replacing all of them when i'm building my this cable it is 16 avg and it is mounted to the board on the old models I think everybody knows that and on the new one we have the improvement we have the battery plus port that's I think very good because first there is no cable that making trouble I have seen many times uh, crashed uh, the silicone cover on the cable it was damaged or something I think this one is very good improvement and I like it. Next improvement is the UART port. It is the special port that is using also new cable, new cable with six wires and its connection for the new display. Because on the display you have also the UART port. And you can see him just here. There is also still, I think, the old fashion, or maybe you can use uh, the power button here. It will be communicating over the UART port with the BMS, so you don't have to use this port on the BMS. I think this port you are using only when you are display loss uh, set up for the battery box, because generally you don't need display on each box uh, you don't need it and especially you don't need it when you have this new version because this one should be able to communicate with all other BMS's up to those 16 pieces maybe even more what I have heard and you can easily display all information on the display it's full touch display and when I will be building my last box it will be actually the master with especially this BMS. I will show you what you all can see on the display and what kind of information we can get through this communication work port. The other ports it is the same also the dry contacts are the same there is nothing special really the only thing is the word port and the communication and definitely the bios version what is new also in the package is the power cable because you need the power cable because you don't have this one anymore with this connector and also the other piece so if you want it uh, then you can use it but they did the new one and I will show you the difference because 
they are also saving money and let me see <laughs> this old one is 18 AVG and the new one is only 16 and it has also weaker isolation they are both silicone that's good but I'm not sure why they actually go down because the consumption it's its consumption of the I'm not sure how much it is actually I was watching something it is running about 10 watt and those 10 watts let me say by 50 volts it's like 200 milliamperes when you are ill and the display is running and it was actually I think with the small display so that's probably uh, it and the other things I have made the improvement myself I did the fuse box here I am planning to make inside a small fuse like maybe 3 amps I will test the 3 amps if it's working I don't know if they have maybe some kind of peaks but I think 3 amps uh, fuse should be enough it will definitely not burn the cable it will save the cable when something goes wrong so this is the option i have made for myself i would like to know if you are also making some kind of improvements in your boxes if you are using the fuses if you are making them or if you just go with the connector or if you even replace the cable without any connections uh, let me know in the comments below because i really would like to know what you do on this cable there is nothing no improvement network cable no improvement there is improvement with this cable I have seen him somewhere it was this one so it is also possible to use for the heating okay so this is the most differences uh, that we have between those two BMS's and how it will be on the software side it will be guys in the next video because for now i don't have the box ready i cannot build it in so we will see what's going on on the software version and so on and so on and uh, in the menu when it is ready and build it in the next box so thank you for the watching and bye bye I will see you on the next video.